Love it. I think I went a little crazy. There's like a fucking mirror up in this thing. <laughs> Look how glossy that is. Brand new. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for the million subscribers. You know, we're getting pretty big here at uh, Jones Chop Shop, but you know, uh, we're still keeping it local, still keeping it fun, you know what I mean? But today's video is gonna be about doing old school decals like this that are actually painted on, not a sticker like all you pussies. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna go into it and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna sand this down to make it look even older to match the rest of the truck. While we're here though, quick update. The bed of the truck is all finished. That is four coats of varnish on there. She is gonna shine in the sunlight. But uh, yeah, stain, some varnish, fixed her right up. So to do one of these, you just go down to your local print vinyl shop, whatever you have in town, and you uh, get a negative done on this uh, yellow stencil vinyl, and then you place it on there. And uh, I'm gonna use a trim clad off-white paint. I'm gonna paint her up, and then on the other side, I'm gonna sand her down a little bit, let some of the rust come through, just kind of match the rest of the truck. But uh, this is what it looks like before I put any paint on her. All right, I just took some sandpaper and just lightly sanded it so some of the green comes through, some of the low spots come out. So it's just not so clean cut around the edges. Just so uh, it'll wear in over time as I wash it, some of it'll chip off. And that's kind of the look I'm going for, you know, just so it doesn't look like there's just a decal on there. It, when you look at it, it looks a little aged and it's been on there for a long time, so. All right, another coat of paint on this. Let's, uh, Get her on there, huh? I just don't want any drips. So I'm just gonna do a bunch of light coats and then you have to take the stencil off while it's still wet. So you're not peeling the paint off when it all dries. So I usually wait till it's still tacky, still wet, and then I take it off. So I'll put another coat on after this one and then uh, I'll show you how I peel it off. All right, she's all ready. So uh, now you just carefully take everything off without getting paint everywhere. Then I just take a razor blade and uh, just get an edge up. decal's been on overnight which I didn't want to do but I ran out of paint yesterday so I had to order some new stuff because we are on lockdown so I had to curbside pick it up and by the time it was ready they were closed so I want to get this going here so the big part's the easy part just get that off and then I take a razor blade and I get out all the the pieces in the middle. So I'm gonna get the, the big part off and then I'll show you guys how I take the middle out. I got the big stuff off. So then just very carefully take a razor and get an edge up. And then what I usually do is I take a pair of tweezers or some pliers. So I'm not very good at small things and I pull it off 
and it, I don't care if I touch it like I touched it over there but I'm sanding it anyway so it doesn't have to be perfect all right and that's it so now oh I got it stuck on me Jesus Christ now just uh tomorrow I'll uh take the sandpaper do the same thing I did on that side I'll make it this side's going to turn out real nice because there's a lot of rust spots so I'll go right through those rust spots and as I drive it in the rain from time to time that rust will come through so yeah turned out really really well if I can do this you can do it because I suck with stickers and I suck with peeling them off like I'm covered in paint but uh you know it doesn't have to be perfect this truck's 1969 I want it to look like it was put on back then and still kicking around today you know